Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we are going to learn about prime factorization. Prime factorization is finding the set of prime numbers that multiply together to make the original number. A prime number is a number that can only be evenly divided by one in itself. For example, five. You can divide five by five and you get one, and you can divide five by one and you get five. There's nothing else that you can divide five by and get a whole number quotient. Same with seven. You can divide seven by seven or seven by one, but there's nothing else that you can divide seven by and get a whole number answer. So five and seven are examples of prime numbers. Let's take a look at some examples of prime factorization. To complete the prime factorization of 12, we have to factor 12 until we have all prime numbers. And I need to start somewhere. So when I think about 12, I think about 2 times 6. 2 is a prime number. 6, however, is a composite number. So I'm going to need to continue to factor 6. And 6 is 2 times 3. And 2 and 3 here are prime numbers. So my factoring is complete. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. You can also write this as 2 squared times 3. To complete the prime factorization of 36, I need to get started by choosing two factors of 36. I'm going to start with 6 and 6. 6 times 6 is 36, but 3 times 12 is also 36, so is 4 times 9. So there are multiple options of factors you could choose to start with. This means that the order of the numbers that you have in your tree could be different. However, your prime factorization in the end will be the same. So I started with 6 and 6, which means I need to factor 6 because 6 is a composite number. The factors of 6 are 2 and 3, and I'm going to need to factor both 6s. So my prime factorization for 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. You typically write your factors in order from least to greatest. And you could also write this as 2 squared times 3 squared. And remember with prime factorization, when you finish, if you go back and multiply all of your factors together, then you should get your original number. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12, times 3 more is 36. To complete the prime factorization of 120, I'm going to start with the factors of 12 and 10. And 12 is a composite number, so I need to continue factoring 12. And for 12, I'm going to use 3 times 4. Well, 3 is a prime number, so I'm done factoring with the 3. However, 4 is a composite number, so I'm going to need to factor 4, and the factors of 4 are 2 and 2. 2 is a prime number, so that segment of my tree is also done now, and I need to consider the 10. 10 is a composite number, so I'm going to need to factor 10, and the factors of 10 are 2 and 5. And 2 and 5 are prime numbers, so those segments of my tree are also complete. So the prime factorization of 120 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And if I wanted to check my work, I could multiply my prime factors together. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 more is 8, times 3 is 24, times 5 is 120. And the other way that I can write my prime factorization is 2 cubed, because I have 3 2's, times 3, times 5.
Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.